good evening live at five. Hope everybody is good. Let's give it a moment for a few people to join in. Hey. Hello. Oh, look at you all, all prompt. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Mm. Oh, hello. Gosh, I'm ready for a brew. Hi, Miles. <laughs> How is everybody? Are we good? Friday again. Stop raining for like five minutes. Is it raining with you? Hi, Emma. <laughs> hello. Oh, there's plenty of you joining in. Gosh, one of these days I will be like really prepared and ready for this, but I always end up running around at the last minute. I'm very well, thank you. We're on the road. <laughs> oh, very good. Is anybody on the bus this week? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's been a really, really rainy sort of winter, hasn't it? It's um, It's been a long one. <sighs> But I wonder whether that means we'll get like a super dry summer and then end up with like hosepipe bands and droughts and things. It's sort of one extreme to the other, isn't it? Okay, we've got plenty of people on. Um, I just want to stand here and drink this tea. It's really good. Oh, you're watching in Egypt? That's not fair. <laughs> right, shall we get stuck in? Um, I've got quite a few new fabrics to go through here. Um, I actually received these last week. Um, and they sat in a bag until, well, several bags until sort of Tuesday, until I actually had time to sort of unpack them. And then, yeah, it takes a little while to get everything photographed and get everything um, onto the website. So I think I've spent six hours sat at the computer today. Um, and it really made me question how I used to do a desk job because it absolutely drove me nuts sitting still for that amount of time. I'm so used to just pottering around the shop. Um, but anyway, it's all on there now. It's all up and we've got some really nice pictures. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so these four beauties that I've got in front of me are viscose jerseys. Um, I love a bit of viscose jersey. Um, yeah, should we just have a look at the prints? So for, I think we've been through this before, but if you're new to these videos and I haven't told you before, um, viscose jersey is a knit fabric that is made with viscose <laughs> um, rather than cotton. Um, and the sort of primary advantage of that is that you get a much more fluid and drapey fabric. So you can see here with this one that I'm holding up. Hi, Linda that you've got that really beautiful drape. So if you're making dresses and tops and things, it's really, really gonna move nicely when you're wearing it. Um, also, if you are doing things like shaping that involves ruching or gathers, anything like that, you can see there. So if I give myself a bit of a one shoulder number, it's really gonna gather up and fall nicely. So that's your key advantage to it. It's also really good value for money. These tend to come in at around 12 pounds a meter, sort of 10 to 12. So compared to cotton jersey, it is a little bit cheaper. Um, and you just get some really, really nice prints. I do find at this time of year, I sell absolutely loads of it. I usually get ladies coming in with very simple dress patterns, usually sort of sleeveless or short sleeve numbers that are fairly long. And they'll just buy two or three meters of a couple of prints and whip up some nice dresses for the holidays. So <laughs> it's ideal for that sort of thing. So this one is a peacock print. Is that upside down? Maybe. <laughs> Story of my life, this. Um, there we go. So you can see the peacock eyes, but obviously it's this beautiful fuchsia shade. Um, what happened with the fuchsia pink cotton jersey, guys? Because... I popped it up, <laughs> I've had that in stock forever and I popped it up on the live the other week and you all went nuts for it. So if you liked that, you might like this. Um, but yes, this is the Peacock Eyes. Very pretty. 
<laughs> Look at you lot all having a little chat in the comments. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, I've got hankering to have a piece of one of these. This would make nice trousers. Um, one of my customers made this fabric. I had it in a blue and she made it into wide leg trousers. Um, for a daughter who happens to work at my children's school and I see her in those trousers all the time and they look really cool. Do I have any pattern suggestions for sleeveless summer dresses in Visco's jersey? Um, yes, I would look at um, the... Oh, what's it called? I'm looking at the wall. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. My brain. Let me have a think and I'll get back to you on that one. New Look do some really good ones, but the sizing can be a little bit um, rubbish, so... If you, if you can fit into New Look, they do some, some good basics like that. I'm sure somebody will put one in the comments. Haven't, um, haven't the Pattern Emporium just done a new sort of tank kind of dress? I think that's a good option. So, this one again, we're still on the viscose jerseys. And this one is called Gypsophila. Wonder why? Tiny little white flowers against this sort of soft powdery blue yep the kiello would be beautiful um this gives me kind of tea dress kind of feels if you know what i mean it's just got that semi sort of vintage very pretty english country garden english summer kind of looks about it Yes, Friday Pattern Westcliff would also be beautiful. I'm just trying to think of it. I'm sure there's a sleeveless one. It's like peeping at me from the wall. Is it a True Bias or a Megan Nielsen? I'm pretty sure a Megan Nielsen do one. I'll get back to you on that. Oh, there it is. Eucalypt. Have a look at that one. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to hold it up for you there just so you can see the print. I think it's a little bit paler than it's coming up on my phone. Why do I look so dark? I've got a light on and everything. Um, I'm looking at the camera for YouTube and the colours are looking nice on there. But yeah, beautiful. That one is on the website. Kind of torn between this one and the next one. They're really good for twist front dresses as well. So over it did one of those recently, didn't they? A nice twist and if you think like a three quarter sleeve and a twist and relatively long kind of gives Kate Middleton vibes where is Kate Middleton is anyone else obsessed with this saga <laughs> where is Princess Catherine okay <laughs> um, what did I call this one I can't remember I think I called it Rhodes it was reminding me of sort of deep blue oceans and summery skies. I was feeling quite poetic this morning when I was naming fabrics. <laughs> Hi, Rich. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's kind of that right size of print, I feel. Not too big, not too small. Up there, you can see how that looks. Very, very pretty. And again, you've just got that beautiful movement and drape. Move that up there. I would say Viscose Jersey generally had uh, has a <laughs> caught in it and stuck. It has um, more stretch than a cotton jersey as well. So you can see we've got really good stretch and recovery going on there. <laughs> Haley read about Princess Kate as well. Yeah, <laughs> basically we know nothing, do we? But we're like the theories are just wild. It's nuts. I really hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. I don't usually like a conspiracy theory, but I haven't got time for them, but there are a lot of unanswered questions there. <laughs> I'll be going off to Google it now. Oh, you're back on the bus. <laughs> Happy bussing. Here we go. Right, and the final viscose jersey is sun glitter, and I think you can see why. It looks a lot like when you catch the sun on the sea. <laughs> <laughs> or on the water so a very deep black navy and we've got these sort of bluey patches coming through here with these little cream splodges if you will 
really really different just unusual beautifully summery deep colors um while i was getting these ready this week a lady came in and took some of this to make a skirt which i thought was a nice idea just a nice long summery skirt that she can put on with any sort of tops so i think that's nice but again when you're talking like your long holiday dresses that kind of thing <laughs> i like trying fabrics on do you do that when you go in shops do you try them on or is it just me am i just weird <laughs> okay so those are the viscose jerseys Definitely bits of fibres in my tea now. Mm. We can move on to let me know which of those are your favourite. And we'll move on and have a look at some viscose and tensile. Sorrento. Ooh. Maybe. I can never remember which one's which with the deer and door patterns. <laughs> they're pink yay I feel like there was a major blue theme oh the jumpsuit yes I know what you mean um, what's the Friday Pattern Company jumpsuit as well or, or am I thinking of is it the Avenir is that a for knits yeah nice knit sort of pull up just pull on jumpsuit and that would be yes <laughs> Another vote for Kielo. <laughs> I've never made it. I feel like I should do. Right. Um, viscose, where are we? Avenues for woven, is it? What am I thinking of then? One of them. Or is it a, is it a true bias? It's a true bias. I can see it from here. Nova. It's like one of them looking at the pattern wall and it's like one of those reading tests. <laughs> True Bias Nova is what I had in mind with the elasticated waist. Anyway, I digress. This is a viscose. <laughs> a viscose chalet, no less. A lovely, smooth, soft, drapey viscose fabric. Um, I feel like this looks rather like the kind of prints that you would get with Dashwood, but it's not Dashwood, so it's not dashboard prices um this is called vintage something <laughs> oh vintage meadow that's what i called it gosh it was only about an hour ago um but yeah this beautiful green color um with these nice little graphic flowers on very very cute kind of calf kidston vibes i think on there there's a lot of vibes tonight um, I'm going to just hold that up so you get an idea of scale against me there. But just a nice, classic, cute floral. But very pretty. Sunday Romper from Love Notions. Oh, I just bought a Love Notions pattern. I got the, um, the compose robe that you were all telling me about for the toweling. I picked that up this week. don't know when I'm going to get time to sew it up, but I do fancy a new dressing gown. So, yes, lovely... Good old viscose, it can't be beat, can it? <laughs> and I do like a green. So we could make just about anything in this. Dresses, blouses, skirts, jumpsuits, <laughs> anything you like. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the indigo dress that I had on the other week that you all sort of wanted to know what the fabric was, but it was an old one. Very similar colours to that, so it would make a nice indigo as well. So that's Vintage Meadow. This one, I think this is really cool. I kind of peeked this one on stories the other day and it's just so different. And then, um, here we go. Do not dip it in the tea. Um, <laughs> we have faces, like lady faces. They're kind of, they look like the Vogue in. She looks like she's doing Vogue. <laughs> um, I have called this stylish faces um, it might just be coming up a bit funny on there because it's obviously folded in half so you are going to get some of the print coming through but on the single we look like this 
just really unusual and different, isn't it? I am actually really liking this. It's completely, it's not a floral. <laughs> and I think it's one of those things that from a distance just looks funky and then you'd have to be looking at it for a minute and be like, hang on, there's faces on there. So, <laughs> yeah, I think it's really, really nice. A little bit like the um, Lady McElroy did one, didn't they? With faces on, but obviously not with that particular price tag. Um, yeah. What do we think to that one? Bit different? I am a fan. I think that one's going to be a popular one. Like sketchy faces. That's going to end up in a mess, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, the grey and red are nice together, aren't they? It's just a little bit different. Hi Bev, how are you recovering? <laughs> oh Michelle, I never quite get it right. <laughs> okay, this one is a Tencel lawn. Um, yeah, love it. Um, so very similar to viscose, but obviously tensile is technically a different fibre. And we find that the tensile lawns tend to be um, a little bit finer, a little bit lighter. So this is very floaty and soft and smooth and beautiful. <laughs> this one's called Clear Waters. Um, just kind of reminds me of, of the sea. <laughs> Definitely been feeling like the need for a holiday. <laughs> Um, thinking lots about holidays and holiday clothes, but yeah, you can see the movement on there is just divine. There we go, show you that moving, but over a good distance, that's going to look really, really elegant on a dress or on anything, really. Love it. I tend to find that tent cells do sell through really, really quickly. It tends to be a base that everyone seems to enjoy. So that one is clear waters and it's just very bright and nice. I've really gone for the blues this time. Yeah, it's like a, a subtle paisley. <laughs> You're not fussy, Michelle. Don't worry, I'm only teasing you. Um, this one's a bit different. This one's called Portofino. I've never been there, just uh, naming things after places I'd like to visit. Uh, <laughs> um, and again, this is a viscose. And we've got another sort of large scale print here, but it's so hard to get it all in the picture. If you can see, we've got these sort of stripes and banding if you will um stand back a little bit that might help a lot of unrolled lords <laughs> so we've got it's it's like a navy like a french navy if i hold that a little closer you can get a bit of an idea of the detail with those little blue bits in kind of reminds me of like um like crockery in a good way <laughs> Um, but oh gosh, I think like over a long skirt and you could really play around with the, pla the placement of the print if you were doing something like a long skirt or a tiered dress. That would just be so pretty and so light and swishy. I think that's got a lot of potential. So that's part of you know. You like blue, do you? <laughs> I like blue. My daughter likes blue. She's just turned eight and now it's like she hates pink is her new thing I hate pink I don't think you'd like hate it so everything has to be blue <laughs> I'm gonna have to tidy that one up later <laughs> I'm into that I think that's really nice yeah wide leg trousers would look great in it wouldn't they because you could really play with placing one of those sort of bands almost a bit like a border print that would be nice. A little bit of head scratching involved, but I think you could be creative there. I like a, I like a big print like that. It gives you an opportunity to really think about some fun sort of pattern placement. Okay, this one's a little bit more subtle, but this is a viscose twill. Um, and this one's called Rowan. 
Um, and we've got these nice little leaves and berries here. But I do like a viscose twill. You all like a viscose twill. The viscose twills I put up last week have just flown out. Um, but yeah, lighter in terms of a lighter base instead of being on a dark base here. And just a slightly different sort of theme to those blue seasidey feels. Very nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> okay. You get an idea for the size of that one, a bit of a smaller, more paired back print, but that it really is. I wish you could feel it. It's very soft. <laughs> it's very, very nice. So those are the viscose and tensile. I'm not even going to try and fold this up now. I'll try and fold it up later. <laughs> I'm sorry for tempting you. Like, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's my job okay <laughs> so here's a few bits that don't fit into that category mm. got a couple of linen and viscose blends so this one again I think is a really unusual print and I thought mm, I don't know is this going to be hit or miss but I'm really into it I really like it so this one is, this is more viscose. I think this is 80% viscose to 20% linen. Whoa, Carol, you've already sewn it up. Amazing. Oh, good. We were just talking about, is it the Avenir jumpsuit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what you're getting involved in when you get here, don't you? <laughs> right, this is just amazing, isn't it? it in the best possible sense, and I'm not even sure I should phrase it like this, it reminds me of a vintage tablecloth. <laughs> but you know the kind that somebody on TikTok would find in a thrift shop and then make a really funky dress out of? Like, that kind of thing is what it reminds me of. But I think your opportunity here to really mess about with where you place these tiles is... See what I mean? You could put that there. On a pair of trousers, that'd be cool. On a long skirt it'd be awesome like there's just a lot of possibilities here and i think you know if you were gathering maybe a tear along one of these lines that could look neat <laughs> you know what i mean don't you <laughs> um something like um like a duster length kind of caftan -y kind of jacket you know for like throwing on when you're on the beach or like holiday evenings i'm a holiday obsessed today um <laughs> It's a good thing, like good tablecloths, the kind that you would see and be like, oh, that's pretty, I could make it into something. Not like, oh, that's my grand's tablecloth. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so it's this lovely soft gold colour and then this big print. And it was a nightmare to take photographs of. I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> but it's really pretty. Let me bring that up a bit closer. So, yeah, 80 viscose, 20 linen in that one. So I do like a linen viscose blend. Nice. Yes, yeah, sarong from Sorge. I'll make the sarong if you give me a massage, okay? That'd be... Sarah's got a massage qualification and she comes to our socials, but she's not cracked on like giving us all a massage yet. We're working on it. <laughs> right, now this one's the other way around. This one is more linen. This one is 70 linen to 30 viscose. Gosh, I'm exercising my memory here. And this one is called Palm Fans. Because, you know, it makes me think of those, like, palms that they fan people with on the telly. <laughs> and then when I was typing it, I thought maybe I should have just called it Only Fans. But <laughs> I might give the wrong, the wrong impression. Okay, so a very, what I would call a very typical tropical print but beautiful and with that high linen content in just trousers just linen trousers please nice uh sort of palazzo style with a high waist and a flat front oh, you can see that i thought about everything that i'm going to make in my mind for all of these you get the idea there of how beautiful that is it's getting the sunlight on it look oh we like those I could talk about fabric all day. It's a good job, really, isn't it? 
Right, now then, just bring it a little bit back to play in. Yes, shirt. A coward in that. Yeah, that would be amazing. Like an open shirt and trousers. Bikini underneath. Where am I going to get the time for any of this? Right, this is just a bit of an odd one out really, so look at that sun! Ah! <laughs> okay, this is a um, blend of cotton and tensile and it's a twill. So I've noticed that somebody has already bought this this afternoon after I've slipped it on and they slipped in the fear pattern with it as well, so that's, <laughs> yeah, shame we can't sell ourselves that. Um, so having tensile in it makes this just that bit more silky smooth than the cotton twills that we looked at a couple of weeks ago um it's beautiful it's really really nice and it's i'm hoping it's showing up on camera but it's a lovely khaki green a really pretty olive um obviously trousers as we've just mentioned shorts jumpsuits would be just beautiful um you know kind of like boiler suit type things skirts yeah and light enough as well if you wanted to do like shirts shirt dresses that kind of thing really really nice so i just thought this was lovely just really really nice i'd like to pick up a decent plane when i see one and i think that color's got a lot of potential i've nearly finished my uh thea trousers just need to put the waistband on and hem them really so just having a look at that earlier Right, these are the last ones. I hope you can see okay with the sun. Never thought I'd be saying that tonight. Um, these are cotton lawns and there's a, oh, a couple in here that I am obsessed with. <laughs> Wisteria. Hysteria. <laughs> right. This is just beautiful. It is just beautiful. I wish I had something like a wedding to go to this year because I will be, I will be whipping something up in this. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, can we see it? Can we see those blooms on there? How pretty is that? It's, oh, it's just beautiful. Just those soft purples of the wisteria with, and you've got those little pinky leaves in the background. Very springy. Oh, just, can you tell I like it? <laughs> yeah, really, really pretty, that one. So it's a cotton lawn. Uh, it's Pima cotton, so that's Peruvian cotton. Extremely high quality. Second only to your kind of Liberty lawns, if you will, um, but obviously much, much cheaper. Um, but these are just stunning. I've sewn loads of things with these. It's one of my all-time favourite fabrics because it's soft, it's breathable, it's light. Um, it sews like an absolute dream because it's a cotton and it's dead stable, so it just presses, it doesn't move. Um, but you've still got a good amount of drape, so for garments it's just perfect. So I am a huge fan of Catalan, if you can't tell. But that, oh, that's just so pretty, isn't it? So that one is Wisteria. I feel like I've been through the entire garden handbook today. Um, and then this one, I, I just don't, haven't decided what I'm gonna make because I need some of this. If you steal it all away from me, I won't be happy. <laughs> I would, but you know. Um, this one's kind of got, like little house planty type exotic kind of leaves but with this teal and pink colouring <laughs> it's just gorgeous isn't it ah. <laughs> sorry this is just what I do when they come in I'm like ah look at that <laughs> can't keep it in <laughs> at least you know I'm passionate um but yeah oh just just lovely the kind of like a bit like string of hearts plants here and then we've got some little ferns going on um so i called this indoor jungle because it just reminds me of all those house plants but i didn't know about something like maybe like um an amphia blouse but then maybe it just needs to be a dress 
I don't know. What do we think? But, oh, just so pretty. I could just stand here and stroke this all day. So, <laughs> that one is indoor jungle. And I think the lawns were the last ones that I put on, so they will be at the top of the list on the website. But, oh, that's just gorgeous. I need to get out more, don't I? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't need anything complicated, does it? Yeah, pyjamas. Yes, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? <laughs> floating about the house dress. So in a slightly different sort of tone, this one's on a black base. And again, we're still on the Pima lawn, but um, much more of an art deco feel. Um, and I'm say this is upside down as ever. These are tulips, if you look closely. We see they've got little tulips, but definitely with that deco kind of feel to them. Try not to say vibe, because I've already said it about 10 times. Um, on that black base, I think this would make a really cool shirt. Like, like a, even a gents shirt would look really cool. With the hot exotic greenhouses. Yes, exactly. But yeah, this one, it's just different, isn't it? I, love, I like it, I really like it. Um, so you can, it's kind of a medium sized print. It's not like tiny, but it's not massive either. So just really unusual. Shirt dress, yes please. Nice pink buttons or green buttons. Mm. And finally, the last one in this group and of the evening, because it's half five now. This one is Spring Greens. <laughs> That's original, isn't it? I think I'd run out of steam by this point. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think this needs much introduction or explanation. It's just a very abstracty kind of floral. It's like a suggested floral because there's no actual genuine flowers on there, is there? Like it's got that leafy florally look that really goes with my nails. Um, What's going on outside the front door? <laughs> Somebody got stuck in my front door then. Um, yeah, just nice colours, isn't it? So that again is a P Milan. So there we have it. <laughs> That's everything for this evening. And that was a lot of fabric in one go. Like a mono painting. It is. It's very, they're all very painterly, actually. They're, they're really, really pretty. I think they've outdone themselves this time with these prints. Um, yeah, so you'll have to let me know which one is your favourite, if there's any of them that you've got your eye on. Um, definitely ready for some sort of spring, summer, nicer, lightweight sewing ideas. <laughs> I'm going to try and put together um, like a spring sewing plans video in the next week or so, so I think a couple of these might be featured. Just need to have a think about patterns. <sighs> It's hard to decide, isn't it? Oh, you all like different things. That's nice. <laughs> oh, you've got some of the olive tent cell for trousers. Good effort. <laughs> right, well, it's nice to see a bit of sunlight and it not be pitch black on the way home. Um, there's nothing going on in the shop tomorrow, so I'm hoping that I might be able to finish off my um, Thea trousers, which is nice. Um, oh, patient blouse. Ooh, yeah, that'd be nice. Patina, right, okay. Any blouse would be nice in that, wouldn't it? I keep, I keep thinking about the patina. <laughs> right, guys, thank you so much for joining in. Um, my part two of the Stanton hoodie sew along is about 70% uploaded. Um, YouTube and iMovie and my iMac have been driving me around the bend this week. It's just such a palaver, but I think we're getting there. Um, I've had such a quiet day because when I'm uploading to YouTube, there's not enough bandwidth on the internet to put the radio on. I mean, it's 2024 and that's a brand new phone line and that's, that's the best that we get. So I will catch you soon, but thank you for watching. Thank you for all your comments and... I'll see you next week. Have a lovely weekend, everybody.